Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Emerald in the last episode. We finally made it through Victory Road and have arrived at the Pokemon League. In this episode, it's finally time to put this LP to rest and take on the Elite Four. But before we do that, I want to show you my final stats as I've completed my off-screen training. Everyone is level 50. They all have the same hold items as before except for Trico, I believe. Hariyama is level 50 and it has quite a different moveset. Fake Out, Brick Break, and Earthquake are the same, but Double Edge is a new move that I taught it. It's actually a move tutor move that you could get from a girl in the Pokemon Center of Sutopolis City. So I went ahead and got rid of Strength for it since we don't need any more E-Gems because it's the end of the game. Uh, in case you're wondering, by the way, uh, Double Edge is a super powerful normal attack that's sort of like a even more powerful uh, takedown. It does a lot of damage, but you hurt yourself in the process, just so you know. Torkoal is almost the same. It learned a new move called Heat Wave. It's a very, very slightly more powerful flamethrower attack, basically. Also slightly less accurate. Hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. But yeah, we got Heat Wave, Body Slam, Overheat, and Sludge Bomb. Swellow is basically the same. I'm pretty sure Swellow and Treek are the only ones who didn't get new moves. Uh, items are the same as well. We got Fly, Stealing, Double Team, and Return. Waylord! Oh boy. I have a story about what happened with Waylord. It now has Surf, Ice Beam, Water Spout, and Hyper Beam. Water Spout is the last move Waylord learns while leveling up. 150 power, really stinking powerful, but it gets weaker the less HP you have. So it's good to use right on the first turn that you send it out. But here's the thing. It was starting to learn Water Spout when it was when I was doing my off-screen training. And during that time, I still hadn't gotten rid of the HM moves on him. Because I was in Victory Road, I was just going through all the nooks and crannies to see if I had missed any trainers. So my moves at the time was Surf, Ice Beam, uh, Waterfall, and Rock Smash. So the only move I was able to get rid of at the time was Ice Beam. So I did! I got rid of Ice Beam and learned Water Spout. And then I had to go to the Mauville Game Corner and basically buy 4,000 coins um, with my Poke Monies just so I could get another Ice Beam TM because it's the only other place you could get it. I couldn't get the Move Tutor to reteach Ice Beam because it's not a level up move for Waylord, it was a TM move. And that's the thing, you could get Heart Scales from Love Disc in order to reteach it moves that it would have learned in the past and stuff. But I completely forgot about this, so I technically could have said no to Water Spout, caught a Love Disc, used a Heart Scale, and then I would have been able to just relearn Water Spout. But no, I took the hard way and I bought like 4,000 coins each. 500 coins cost 10,000 Pokemon, so you do the math. And I got Ice Beam back, then I got rid of stinking Rock Smash and Waterfall, and I learned Water Spout. And I have Hyper Beam, which I bought at the Lily Cove Game Corner. It was not fun, to say the least. And on top of all that, I went through heck trying to figure out where you get the stinking coin case in this game, because it's not just in a regular place where you don't get normally by just talking to people. You have to go to like Slayport City, buy Harbor Mail at the Pokemon, then give it to some lady so she could write to her boyfriend and then she'll give you the coin case. Oh, it was annoying. But anyway, Celebi is level 50 and its moves are pretty much the same except I got rid of Fake Out like I said I was going to and then I taught it Psychic. So, it's not the best special attacker in the world, I understand, but Psychic is a pretty cool move, it's really powerful, and it also has a chance to learn special defense, similar to Shadow Ball, but Psychic is a very nice type to have on our arsenal. So, yeah. And finally, Trico is basically the same, except I got rid of the Amulet Coin and gave it the Focus Band, which has a chance of having it hang out with 1 HP whenever it's about to faint. So, yeah, that's about it for my team. That is the final stat. Uh, that's those are the final stats of everything. Those are the final move sets. We are good to go. And I also went ahead and bought some items. I'm basically broke at this point, but whatever. I bought 30 revives and 30 full restores. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right then, now that all that is taken care of, there's only one thing left to do. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth! 
Thanks, guys. Okay, here we are. It's no turning back now. We now begin in the first room of the Elite Four. What you gotta do, in case you've never played a Pokemon game before, which if you haven't, I feel really sorry for you, you gotta go and fight four ridiculously powerful trainers, one after another. There's no leaving once you enter, and you just gotta push through it with your best Pokemon and your best items. So, let's get things started. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you can give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, you and me, let's enjoy this battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Alright then, starting things off against the first member of the Elite Four, Sydney! Yeah, and when you thought Tabitha was the only girly name in this game. Or guy with a girly name, but whatever. And just like Tabitha and every other member of Team Magma and Aqua, he's gonna start off with a Mighty Anna. How original. So I could be a bit worried right now, but I think Hariyama can handle it. So we're gonna do Fake Out and then Brick Break, just like we always do, or I guess it was Vital Throw back then, but whatever. No need to worry about that, except that Double Edge was pretty powerful, but it's only gonna lead to your own demise. Since you're gonna bring your own HP down, it'll just make it even easier for this Brick Break to defeat you. All right, then we get our own critical hit. All right, then Hariyama, show him who's boss. All right, now all the members of the Elite Four have specialized Pokemon teams, like they specialize in a certain type. And Sydney specializes in dark type Pokemon, so he's gonna go to Shiftry now, which is a dark and grass type. So I wanna give every member of my team their time in the sun in these episodes, so I'm gonna switch to Swellow next. All right, Hariyama, come back and you won't be affected by Intimidate anymore. Now we got Swellow out on the field, sending out Shiftry. Like his wooden clogs that are like built into his feet, it's really funny. Alright, then let's see what he's gonna do. Swagger, oh girl, you got that swagger, but it don't matter cause I'm up in the air! Yeah, good thing I didn't get rid of Fly for like Aerial Ace like I've been wanting to this entire time. Torment! Alright, Torment makes it so you can't use the same move twice in a row. Okay then, so we're gonna go to Return, and he's gonna heal. Just like every other gym leader we fought, even though they're not gym leaders, and basically everyone in Victory Road. They have full restores, so yeah, be prepared for that. Alright then, now I know that these videos are going to be short for a while because I want to have only just one fight with each Elite Four member per episode. I know that's sort of weird, but I don't know, I just like having each character in the thumbnail. I planned it out so nicely and stuff. Alright, now I got to use Fly. It'd be really crummy if like, having a two turn attack like Fly counted as you using the same move, like, uh, twice in a turn, so like, you couldn't use it because of Torment or something like that. That'd be really weird, but thankfully that's not the case. And we are good to go. Next Pokemon is Absol. All right then. Let's go ahead and switch to... Uh... Torkoal, I guess? All right, why not? I was gonna save Torkoal for later, but I know his later Pokemon may not be a very good matchup for it, so why not? Let's just use Torkoal. I believe in you, buddy. All right, Absol, the disaster Pokemon. Let's see what we can do. Let's start with Heat Wave, I guess. Using Swords Dance. Sword's Dance on Absol is pretty devastating because it sharply raises attack and it's a pretty good physical attacker. Only thing though is that dark type moves are special so it's sort of a weird Pokemon to have as a physical attacker, but it's still pretty powerful so watch out. And it's his star Pokemon which always has a citrus berry and same goes for every other star member of every Elite Four members team. And I forgot it had Rock Slide, that's kind of unfortunate. Let's see if we can finish it off with Heat Wave. And we're good! Alright then. Let's see, you got three down, two to go, and no way's fainted. Next Pokemon's Crawdon, that's why I wanted to use Torkoal now. So we're gonna go ahead and switch to Trico. I don't have to feel bad about using Trico anymore because everyone's even leveled now. Alright then, it's gonna send out Crawdon. Just like Absol, it's a physical attacker, even though it's a special typing, which is sort of awkward, but whatever. It's gonna go ahead and start with Giga Drain. Alright then, getting tongue tied in the finale, but who cares, we got everything taken care of, everything that we've faced along the way, it was difficult in some parts, but we've overcome it all, so if there's any more slip ups, just roll with it, alright? And of course you're gonna use another full restore, because he likes healing like crazy, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, it might have been better to use Solar Beam, but whatever, you're gonna use Return. And then I can't remember if I was faster than it, hopefully I was. So then I can use Giga Drain and get my HP back and defeat you. A win-win. 
There she goes. And the art goes up my HP. Sultan, Sultan, Sultan. All right then, get more experience. And his last Pokemon is Cacturn. All right then, pretty good for Swellow and Torkoal. But you know what? I'm gonna be an oddball and send out Waylord. Just because I want to have everyone have their time in the sun here. All right, it might seem weird to send a water type out against a grass type, but you know what? I've got protection for that in the form of Ice Beam. All right, hopefully this fancy schmancy Mauville TM of Ice Beam is somehow more powerful than it. Okay, one HP, hooray. Right. Cotton Spore, what? You could have hit me with a grass attack. It probably would have been really painful. All right, my speed fell, oh no. Finish it off with Surf, then, okay, Needle Arm. That's a pretty cool move that James uses in the anime a lot because he has a Cacnea. I miss James and his Cacnea, they're awesome. Uh, not that James went anywhere, but so, oh wait, I just realized that he's faster than me and, like, did I flinch? Is that what happened? Oh, I might survive, so it doesn't matter. Yes, Surf, baby! All right then, it was a bit, it was a bit scary right there in the end, but we got things taken care of. And with that, Sydney is defeated. <laughs> Well, how do you like that? I lost. Yeah, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Sort of a weird mindset in my opinion. Just because there's a winner out there doesn't make everyone else losers. Don't ever think that in case you have any failures during your journeys in life. Alright then, but that's it for this episode actually, like I said it's going to be short, I'm only going to be having one Elite Four member per episode. Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're going to go and fight the second member of the Elite Four. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.